Hey guys, Antelog here, and the Mycestro is a very interesting product. So what is the Mycestro? It's a portable mouse that you can wear on your finger that allows you to control the cursor by moving your hand in the air. The Mycestro has three buttons, one for right click, one for left click, and one for middle click. To scroll, you can use the touchpad underneath the buttons. Finally, to move the cursor, you'll move your hand around in the air while touching anywhere on the touchpad. And it plugs into the computer using a small dongle, and it charges using micro USB. The Mycestro goes on your finger by using a bendable rubber strip and a curved rubber surface on the opposite side. It's pretty comfortable while it's on your finger, but I wish it was a little smaller to let my finger move a bit more freely. It's also quite light, which makes it easier on your hand while you're mousing. So let's talk about the actual mousing though. At some times, the Mycestro is really accurate, and at others, not so much. Most of the time, I can move my mouse where I want it to go without having any hiccups, but at other times, it would fly across the screen without me moving my finger that much. I also found that when I tried to click things, my hand would move in the process and I would either end up highlighting some text or just clicking something totally different. The touchpad is also really sensitive as well. It would always try to scroll a little while I was just touching the buttons when I was trying to left or right click. And I think it's a little too sensitive for my taste. The Mycestro doesn't always work, but when it does, it's a really awesome experience. I don't know why, but there's just something satisfying about using your hand in the air to move the mouse on your screen. And it just feels so intuitive to have the mouse wherever you want it to be at the flick of a finger. But here's the problem I have with the Mycestro. I really just don't see a use for it. It doesn't bring anything to the table that a traditional mouse can't do, and it's also less accurate and less efficient than a traditional mouse. I can't seem to find an audience for this product. In almost every circumstance, a traditional mouse would outmouse the Mycestro. In conclusion, the Mycestro can't game or video edit as efficiently and smoothly as a traditional mouse does, but when it comes to light web browsing, it's definitely a neat experience. So is the Mycestro a neat product? Definitely, yeah. But is it a practical product? Probably not. And if you want to try out the Mycestro for a period of time, you can head into the link below or right here if you click right above my finger. And anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.